education, diagnosis, treatment, research, a bundle of knowledge, a one-day clinic and evaluation like no other. Pank MD, the Pancreas Multidisciplinary Clinic at Johns Hopkins. Meet our experts. The pancreas plays a vital role in how we are able to nourish ourselves. Many people who have a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer can experience difficulties in diet and nutrition. I'm Mary Eve Brown, an oncology dietitian at the Kimmel Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins. The pancreas has many roles in digestion. It produces digestive enzymes needed to process carbohydrate, protein, and fat. It also is the site where the hormone insulin is made. If these functions are not working, it may be difficult for someone to maintain their nutritional health. So it really has to be variable with what you're eating. It is not uncommon for someone who has pancreatic cancer to experience weight loss, fatigue, diarrhea, pain with eating, gas, bloating, feelings of indigestion, and lack of appetite. These can be related to the tumor itself, treatment, and or surgery. That's where my expertise plays a role. So much of this disease involves how you can nourish yourself. Along with the patient, we develop a nutritional plan taking into account the symptoms and overall physical health of the patient. The nutritional goals of the patient are to consume adequate amounts of fluid, calories, protein, and vitamins each day to maintain a desirable weight and activity level. Part of the nutritional plan might be small frequent meals up to five or six each day, a balance of carbohydrate, protein, and fat at each meal, supplements that may include pancreas enzymes and nutritional beverages, and avoiding foods that are gas producers. You're supposed to take two with a meal and one with a snack. Having nutritional tools to manage difficulties that can come from having pancreatic cancer is key to maintaining your quality of life. I'm Mary Eve Brown, an oncology dietitian at the Kimmel Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins.